Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Battle Mode video and this is an exciting one because get rid of him, get rid of him, there it might make it a bit better because we are looking at update 1.7.1 and it's going to be an exciting one guys it's going to be an exciting one and I cannot wait to go through it with you. I don't know what I'm doing there. Right. So, update 1.7.2. We're hoping that it's something exciting, something different, something that's going to rewrite all of their wrongs, guys. And a lot of you know what I mean by that. The majority of all of their previous stuff has been complete, utter garbage. So, what are we going to take a look at? Let's go. Disney Heroes Battle Mode Update 1.7. I don't know how many times I've said that. Welcome to the update. This new character is Gaston. Nobody even knows who that is. If you know what he's from or who he is, or obviously, guys, I want to know, who, before you went and Googled it, did you know who Gaston was? Comment that down below and let me know. A significant... So I'm, look, I'm quite enjoying this refresh thing because they've kind of allowed that allowed that they do make all the new characters metas which basically means they're the best character in the game so they'll do that so people buy the new character it's fair enough it's really annoying that's why i stopped playing future fight so gaston for all oh, right it says it there <laughs> still comment down below okay look at how beautiful he is i will save that for the thumbnail guys right anyway Gaston is a backline control hero. He will be available in die. So it's why is it always diamond crates? That's what annoys me. But he's coming to every server but 13 and 14. Because 13 and 14 are quite far behind. So it yeah, it does take a while, unfortunately, but it's it's worth it. So let's let's break his skills down. We've got skills of wrestling match here, guys. So Gaston jump, so he's going to fly into the battle, into the middle, so I'm going to underline the keyword so we can learn it, of the enemies, so he damages and stuns them, Gaston then stays in melee range and fights with his fists for the rest of the wave, so presumably he's throwing something, he might be an archer, or he's doing something to start off with where he's at the back of, you know, all the other teammates, and then when he activates his move, which is his main special, so that's the one that you control, that's the one you can tap, he will jump into the middle of all the other enemy of all the enemies, who are the little scribbles, and then he'll just start punching them. So that could be ridiculous. Uh I to be honest with you, think that is going to be ridiculous, to be fair. Because if he's in the middle and he must have a lot of health, or that skill would be redundant. So it wouldn't surprise me if Disney Purby being Purby didn't think of that. But that looks like a really good move. The fact that it stuns and damages them is going to be good. So now we go down to Brawly and Brawny. Gaston, hello. Stunning or charming nearby enemies. I suppose that if they're female, they'll be charmed. If they're male, they'll be stunned. Maybe. I guess they might not be able to do that because of like... But, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, they might have to be careful because people might think that's a bit, like, offensive. But that would make sense to me. And it's a Disney game, guys. Come on. It's not real. Right. Five dozen eggs. Once per battle, when Gaston reaches zero HP, he gulps down several eggs to heal himself and become invincible. So when he dies, he gets a little, little push. So it might be good when he get, goes invincible, he, he eats the eggs and he can jump him into the middle. So everybody wastes their time attacking him and he's invincible. So that's something to think of. Um, Kingpin, Gaston. Sorry guys, Gaston stands. Oh, that's pretty rubbish to be fair. Hero refresh. In the past update, we have occasionally buffed older heroes. No, they haven't. They've claimed they have, but they've never seemed to have actually done it. But there we go. So, buffed older heroes to make them more relevant. I don't really think they have. So, the meta game is what I was saying when they release a new character and they're better because they've, you know, they understand the game better. The game's developing. They've got more experience so they can add different things. But the game doesn't seem that broken at the moment. So, let's keep it that way. 
Polaris, come on, let's keep it that way. Uh, for here, we'll choose one hero that we feel is underpowered or underutilized in the game and focus on really revamping their kit. This can then include adjustments to their stats, skills, and memory discs. So sometimes they could even change like the whole way a skill works. In addition, we'll also select a few heroes who complement them to form a team. So I like that. That's a good idea. The focus on our first hero refresh is another than Jack Sparrow, I never upgraded Jack, never used him, and this, is, this isn't going to make me upgrade him. The supporting heroes are Captain, Hector, Barbosa, Rex, and Nick, which is pretty, which is happy. I'm happy about Nick. So let's take a look. There's, there's Jack in all his glory. Captain Jack Sparrow has been with Disney heroes for a while now. I think he was actually one of the first updates. He's a hard-hitting frontline hero with a powerful team buff, but is then often... KO too early. That's true. So I guess they've actually listened to some complaints this time or they've checked their analytics and we know we all know how wrong that went when they checked their analytics for the gold update guys. Insanity. So his so this is ridiculous. He does 60% more damage, 30% more HP, and 20% more skill power straight off the bat. His skills, so two cannonballs come out at the same time, and it's 60 that already does so much damage. Jack's gonna be a he is going to be the meta now. If Gaston's not that great, Jack's going to be the one to go to. Attack, acting dodgy, 25% damage. So a bit more cooldown. Fair enough. When Jack's at first allies KO, Jack suits his form camera gaining his basic damage. That's good now. Because that was quite bad before. I think it was only like 10% more. Jack Sparrow grants his allies basic damage. So that's good. So the more skill power Jack has, so you could do a 50% increase to, to damage. That's ridiculous. So his memory discs have changed. Increase max HP per memory disc. Increase healed. So that's pretty good. And then this is what I like the bit about Nick. Increase damage per memory disc level to allies for, from pirate code. Increase armor. And then obviously Hector's had a boost of his stats there more HP. I actually quite like Hector, so I'm quite happy about that, because I have been working on him, and I'm about to get Hector to six stars, guys. So, you know, always, it's always, I'm always happy when they make a character that I use all the time, well, when they buff him, really. Rex. As a seriously tanky, tanky tank. Rex is perfect here to, yeah, that's true, because that'll keep Jack. Oh my lordy. So, this is good because since day one, some of you OG Drafty Joshers or Draft family will know I used to hate Rex and it became a bit of a meme um, that every single time I unboxed him because all of you guys were just commenting of my videos and I had a bit of um, fan art made about it as well. That every time I was doing an uncrate unboxing, it was 60 Rex, 60 Rex, 60 Rex, 60 Rex every time. But now, guys, I'm not complaining that I got him to six stars because look at him. 65% more max HP, 25% more basic damage, 40% more skill power, and mighty raw science duration increased. So that is insane. So I'm quite happy about that. So look, we can draw a little Rex here, guys. Little arm, little legs. There he is. But yeah, I'm quite excited for that. Increase, uh, so he's done increased max HP per memory just for damage heroes. Increase, yeah. So now this is what I like, guys, here. That they've sorted out Nick. Another way to increase Captain Jack Sparrow's survivability is to pair with Nick. This disc will provide Captain Jack Sparrow with a beefy shield at the beginning of each wave of combat. Oh, God, okay. So, base stats. This is insane, guys, because I love... I love Nick. He's always in one of my favorite characters. 15% more health. He already has loads of health. 30% um, basic damage. 10% skill power as well, guys. Like, it's it's decent. It's insane. Like, it is insane. I can't stress that enough, guys, that you need to focus on Jack. And we've got um, new hero locations and content adjustment. So, Jack, Nick, and Hector, all on the same team, are probably going to be, my predictions, the only things we're going to see in the arena. 
Like, it's going to be insane. So, Street Art Shuffle. Increase max HP per memory disc. Increase skill power. And I think that's the one I use. Um, so, we'll just flick on to Disney now. And we'll take a look at those characters. Because, like I said, I'm, I think, I'm hoping that's the disc I use. Because that is getting an almighty buff, guys. I'm annoyed because I wish I knew about six starring at the start because I would have been able to, I would have just kept buying Nick in the City Watch when he was in there. But I am slowly gonna try and six star him, I think, guys. When they do a double elite drop, I'm just gonna only put everything onto him. But I'm slowly getting him up, which I'm quite happy about. Hopefully they'll sort of put him in a um in a contest or something soon, but we'll find out. Okay, so it's this. So this is the one they've buffed. Shield first ally for 12%. And they're going to make that better. That's a skill power. What's this one? Oh no, this one's still easily better. Because of the, the charm. And it takes someone off of your team. They are buffing that. So I do like the idea it gives you a shield. But I honestly... Compared to this one, guys. Yeah, this that's the way to go. Still personally. I want them to put Nick's um, policeman costume into the game as well. But anyway guys, it's going to round up a quick view of the update. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like guys, it really supports me. Smash that subscribe button as well, it supports me. If you feel like dropping me a donation or help me support the channel guys, check the link in the description. All the details are there and I will catch you in the next one.